Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome to Nutribullet Time. Zero Fats are coming at you. And I am joined here today by a very special guest. With me today, I have the Nutribullet RX. Um, now, <laughs> the Nutribullet RX uh, is as much like its predecessor, right? Uh, and it has an O-ring in there. Now, the way it's different than its predecessor is it has this nifty, very nifty design on the bottom. These crosshair-like designs. And it's got this nifty little tool. And I didn't realize it until one of the subscribers said something to me about it. So, awesome. Um, and uh, they basically said, hey, if you use this tool, and it says it right in the instruction manual, go figure that. But if you use this tool, your O-ring won't pop off. And in my mind, I thought, that's ridiculous. That's not going to keep the O-ring from popping off. But, like many things, I was wrong. They were absolutely right. This has kept the O-ring from popping off for me. I haven't had the O-ring pop off since I started using this tool. But, that being said, like its predecessors, things can still get underneath that O-ring, okay? So, you can take a handy dandy butter knife, and I'm going to show you real quick here. This O-ring, it, it just pops right off. It just pops right off. You can put that in your dishwasher, or you can just wash it with your dishes or whatever and get it nice and clean, and then the O-ring it doesn't go on, it can go on either way. It's the exact same on both sides. Okay, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lay it down in the track, okay? Just lay it down in the track. You're gonna take your finger and kind of just, uh, you're just gonna kind of uh, take your finger and just kind of slide that back into place. Like that. And there it is. It comes out very easy and it goes in pretty easy. It's not that hard to get it in place. You kind of put it in there and you just kind of take your finger and slide it around, okay? And it goes right in there. So that's the O-ring for the Nutribullet RX. Um, not too big of a deal. It's really good, you know, um, after, a few, uh, after a few smoothie sessions, it's really good just to take a butter knife and just pop that thing out and wash it anyway. Like when you go and wash your pitcher, it's a good idea just to wash that thing too. You keep it clean, you know, because you'd be surprised how much, uh, you know, smoothie stuff gets underneath that little O-ring. So anyways, I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. It wasn't a long one, kind of a short one, but someone asked me about it and I just wanted to let them know. Uh, the O-ring on the Nutribullet 900 and the Nutribullet 600, the exact same idea that you can pop them out with a butter knife. They're a little harder to pop out, but they're not too bad. Um, you just pop them out with a butter knife and you just, uh, you can wash them, right? And then you can, um, you can just pop them right back in and you're good to go. So anyways, I hope that's been helpful to you guys. If you get a chance, make sure you check out BlendingForYourHealth.com. Uh, sign up. We're giving away a free Nutribullet RX this month. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.